Eat them while they're hot, Mary. Oh, uh, Flo, when you invited me for breakfast, I thought you meant eggs. Eggs? Ugh, eggs are too slimy. For me, nothing says breakfast like fluffy golden pancakes. Don't you like pancakes? You like cake. Well, yes, I do like cake, but it just feels wrong eating cake for breakfast. <laughs> Bubbly beakers, Mary. How can there be a wrong time to eat cake? We're supposed to be a team, and teams should think like each other. Did I hear someone say cake? Officer K, what a pleasant surprise. I'm sorry to interrupt your breakfast, but I have an urgent case for you gals. I want you two to team up with a very clever pal of mine, Frances McGill. She's a doctor who knows so much about the human body, she can solve crimes that happened years ago. Wow. And she is so good at finding tiny hidden clues that the police come from all across the country to take lessons from her. You can meet up with her in Quebec where she's working on the case of the stolen maple syrup. 50 barrels of maple syrup have gone missing and I need a team that can crack this case quickly. Good luck, gals. <laughs> Oh, to the balloon! And fast! Look, Flo, maple trees. And these are the buckets that collect the sap to make maple syrup. That means Francis McGill can't be far. I'm guessing that building back there. Let's go. But what if there are some important clues out here in the woods, Flo? Maybe I should stay out here and look around. We should stick together. If we're going to find Francis, we need to work as a team. Bonjour, madame. Uh, you ladies have quite the skill to land this big balloon between these trees. Oh, you remind me of my friend, Thérèse Martin. Thérèse Martin? Does she work here? Oh, she did before the robbery. Everyone is gone now. No syrup, no jobs. We're supposed to meet Frances McGill here. Mm, do you know where she might be? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, she's in the Boyle Barn. That's where they turned the sap to maple syrup. I hope you find the good luck. See? I told you, Mary. Come on, let's go! Sweet molasses, are you coming? There's something strange about these leaves, Flo. You go ahead. I'll catch up. It's hard to be a team when we're doing different things, Mary. Maple syrup. This must be where the barrels were kept before they were stolen. And it looks like one of the barrels was leaking. Oh! <gasps> Dr. McGill? Yes. Yes, indeed. It's nice to meet you. I'm... F Wait, don't tell me. Judging by your height, your outfit, hair color, skills, and the fact that you already know my name, you must be Flo. Wow. You are good. Officer K was right. It's such an honor to work with someone who solves crimes using your skills as a doctor. Thank you, Flo. Officer K tells me you are also very skilled. That's why you found this handprint. Now, we need to carefully study this clue. Would you happen to have a piece of paper? Nope. Definitely not. <laughs> Aha! What's the paper for? Well, you see, all fingerprints have a pattern of swirls on them, and everyone's pattern is a little different. So if we can find the fingers that match this pattern, we found the thief. And whoever the thief is, I think they left through this door. I agree. Let's follow that trail. <sighs> I don't think we're going to find any more fingerprints out here. But there's my friend Mary. Mary, look, I found Francis McGill. Hello, Dr. McGill. It's such a pleasure to meet you. The way you find the tiniest clues and then collect them for later, it's just amazing. Oh, thanks, Mary. Every clue is important. In fact, we just found a fingerprint which will tell us who the thief is. And I found some happy ants. Happy ants? <laughs> you gals are like two peas in a pod. We're actually very different. Even tiny ants can be a big clue. Tell us more. They're just so happy. Look. They made a path leading from the door. Ants love sweet things. And maple syrup is really sweet. I think a leaky barrel. Left a trail of syrup in the woods. So to find the stolen barrels, all we have to do is follow the ants. <laughs> <laughs> the happy ants led right to this cabin. We found the maple syrup. We did it! Wait, Mary, look at this hat. It has the initials TM in it. TM, TM. 
The man in the woods said his friend's name was Therese Martin. Therese starts with a T, and Martin starts with an M. She has the initials T-M. What in the sweet world of sugar is going on in here? Uh, who are you? Who am I? Well, I'm Tom Miller, the maple syrup man of America. America? This is Canada, Tom. You're in the wrong country. Well, I had to get my maple syrup from somewhere. Who are all these people, Tom? I have no idea, Therese. I thought they were friends of yours. Therese? Therese Martin? Oui. Yes. <gasps> you have the initials TM. The hat must belong to you. <clears throat> and the fingerprints must belong to him. No, nope, these prints don't match at all. I don't know what kind of maple taffy you're trying to pull, but nobody treats Tom Miller this way. I'm out of here. Yes, Tom. I will leave too. Also very upset. Everybody freeze. Let's think a little differently. Tom Miller also has the initials TM. T for Tom, M for Miller. <gasps> You're right. <gasps> Perfect match. They were in on it together and we have proof. Great thinking, Mary and Flo. Maybe thinking differently isn't such a bad thing after all. Of course not. Mary found the ant trail and you found the fingerprints. To solve this case, we needed both of you. The reason you're a great team is because you think differently. To a job well done, gals. Thanks. We learned so much and got to bring home some sweet maple syrup. Mary, maple syrup on eggs? Yep, eating them this way is very different, but it will make our team stronger. I actually prefer an egg pancake taco. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.